Welcome back, everyone. Happy Tuesday. 15 days till Christmas. Yep. And I'm Sarah. And I'm Jordan here at Families of Character. And we come live every Tuesday, don't we? We do. 11.30. We haven't missed a Tuesday unless it's been Thanksgiving week. One mm -hmm. week in, in all of 2019. My hair is not We short. are here for you, parents. Hey, Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. We are here in this Christmas season. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Oh, thank you for joining us. What are we talking about today, Jordan? We're talking about <laughs> the Peloton, people. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Peloton? Do you have a Peloton? Do you have a Peloton? Have you gone to the mall and jumped on a Peloton of any type? Do they sell them at the mall? They do. They have a whole station right in the middle. Which mall? <laughs> Park Meadows. Oh, they do? Yes. Oh. They have Peloton stores. I've never been to one, but my husband does want a Peloton. And we are kind of planning on maybe getting one in the future, but what does the word Peloton actually mean? Peloton literally translated means little ball. What? What does that mean? Little ball? Why would we be talking about a little ball here at Families of Character? <laughs> you got me stumped. I'm a little stumped. <laughs> well... Actually, a Peloton is a group of cyclists that ride together for efficiency, speed, and camaraderie. Huh. So like a community of riders. Right. Like, who here is a bicyclist? I know my husband and I are. We ride in a pack. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. That's what okay. we're talking about. That's what you're talking about. So who is in your Peloton? It's Can... kind of a new, um, a new idea for me. Yeah. How did you um? Hear, how did you learn about this? Well, one of our fantastic bloggers, Jen Kelly, wrote a little article that dropped on Saturday about who is in your Peloton, and I thought, what a cool concept! Like an idea of yeah, that is a kind of a cool concept. Riding together. Mm -hmm. What happens, Sarah? You're a cyclist, so what happens? Like, what are the benefits of riding with a group versus riding solo? Well, you go faster. You do go faster, and you don't have to work as hard. Because you've got the lead person, you've got the leader of the pack, and then everyone else is, it's called drafting, everyone else is drafting behind them. And if you're drafting with someone, that person just pulls you on through. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Goodness. It's actually pretty cool to see how people can work together and just kind of be in community with each other. And so actually, we were, um, my husband and I do a lot of writing events, yes. and, and we were doing this one a few years ago, and I remember for like the last 25 miles of this whole race, it was a 150 mile race, Ooh. The um, we were in this draft with this with a peloton of people, and they just pulled us through, and we got done, and I looked at my husband and my friend, I was like, that is the easiest 25 miles I've ever ridden. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it was awesome. And they're like, yeah, isn't it nice to ride with a group of people that kind of support you along the way? Yes, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So, yeah, so we just kind of, I don't know, did you guys see our post yesterday on Families of Character? It was, community is a verb. What does that mean? Uh, it was a really striking comment that we heard, actually, in a talk. Uh, when we were at a conference and we just kind of keep coming back to it we keep coming back to it and so we just thought it would be fun to bring that up as a topic with you guys like how is community a verb because community is really like a group of people people are as a noun not a verb mm -hmm. but the action of community the action of community is a verb and so when we um you know when we can be in community with people it's so much easier it's so much easier. Totally. And I was, as I was reading more about the actual Peloton, like riding together, there is a statistic saying that if you ride in a pack, it reduces the drag by 95%. And I was thinking, you know, about the drag of life sometimes, yeah. the trials and the frictions and all the issues that kind of weigh heavy on us as families, just living in the world and how like if we are doing this whole thing on our own, we absorb that, all that drag, like a hundred percent of the drag of life. And it's life. so much harder. Like, I know if you're not a cyclist, it's really hard to, do you, have, do, you, do you ever ride on a road? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like on a road road. Like the street? Yeah, like the street. Well, I have. 
<laughs> not on my little skinny bike or anything, I know but my I... bike with the bell and the basket. <laughs> ring, ring. That's me. All right. Well, when you're road biking and you're going for a lot of miles, like 100 miles yes. or 50 miles or 75 miles, you know, and you have to climb this hill or you have to go on this straight road forever, to do it by yourself is so hard. And the fact is, is that that draft of people, that community of people that can pull you, and what happens is people take turns. So like, so like you're riding, and then one will, okay, I'll draft now. And so then they come to the front, and then they get tired for a while, and the other person yeah. comes to the draft. And so everyone just kind of climbs along and takes turns, and it just makes it so much easier. So it's a great analogy. It is. And it's, I don't think it's any coincidence that our blog dropped with that title. And then, um, I mean, we didn't really plan it that way. It's just kind of how it worked out. And it was a little bit eye-opening to both Jordan and I. Like, holy cow, all of this works together. And like, what does it really mean to be a community of people? And a community of what? parents. Yes. Right? Right. That's really what Families of Character is all about is... Yeah helping parents unite with other parents that really have the same core beliefs and values and want to raise their kids with virtue mm -hmm. and have great character strengths like honesty, respect, integrity, generosity, gratitude, assertiveness, all of that. And so Sarah and I were talking like, what gets in our way of kind of identifying three or four or maybe even five couples that have the same core values that we want to be in Peloton with. Like what keeps us from spending time with those families? What keeps us from reaching out and saying, I want you to be part of my tribe or I want to be part of your, yeah. your Peloton. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's important in all aspects of life. It's so true. Yes. It's so true. And you know, who are those people you want to build relationships with? Because when the shit, Oh, I cussed. <laughs> I didn't mean to. When stuff hits the fan. When stuff hits in the parenting. Fan, in parenting. Whether, you know, you're having an issue with your kids or finances or marital, anything. Marital struggles. I mean, how many of you know, just in your own immediate family, someone who is going through um, a tough time with their marriage, having problems with a child who may have anxiety or mental health issues or someone who is struggling financially and is in a mm -hmm. slump there, um, someone who is struggling with their own depression or loneliness. Like, I don't know any of y'all watching that probably did not raise your hand. Right. It is so common. Right. Right? It's so, so common. We don't want to do life alone. We don't want to do parenting alone. It is too tough it's and it doesn't tough. have to be that way. No. When, um, so I have, we've got four kids. I know some of you guys know that because you watch on a regular basis, but some of you are new over here on Instagram. And so in, in our house, uh, my husband and I have four kids and all of my children have food allergies. And it was a very, very tough time. Mm. However many years ago, let's see my third, he's seven. So seven years ago, it was really hard. And kind of what got us through it was finding the community of people that were going through the same thing. Yes. And we found, like, we sought it out and we searched and we found those people that helped us get us through that time. And, you know, communities can ebb and flow and they can come and sure. go. But it's I think it's just always important to be in community with other people. It because, is. Because, you know, the whole idea of having to draft up a hill by yourself is just mm -mm. Mm -mm, not fun. Yeeks. Yeah doesn't have to be that way. And I like how you said that too, because communities can be seasonal, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can kind of pack with this Peloton of folks for months or maybe years. Um, and then maybe your Peloton changes a little bit, or maybe you've okay. been, maybe you've been riding around with people that have flat tires. Or people who aren't maintaining their bikes and you they have follow the best on the side of the road all the time, right? And we're here to give you permission to, to go say, find different community. No, to those riders and to really be specific about who you mm -hmm. choose to be in mm -hmm. your inside circle of that peloton. Yeah, and we are also talking about how sometimes we can want to be all inclusive, right? And like. 
well, people are saying that they want to go have a drink or they want to get together with us, and so we should because they're saying that. We don't have to be everything to everyone. We are giving you permission not to be everything to everyone, but to identify your Peloton, to stick together, to work on virtue, to work on character development within your family, to have fun, right? Mm -hmm. to, to show gratitude and appreciation for the things that are going right in both of your families, right? Definitely. Good comment, Colleen. She says, as an older person in this group, we've had various Pelotons along the way. A lot depends on the kids' activities, and as kids grow or activities change, we also change communities. Such a great point. It's so so true. true. There's a comment on Instagram that says, we often withdraw when times are tough. It seems counterintuitive to reach out during those times, but that's why you need the community to notice that they need to reach out to you. That's right. And mm -hmm. we need to be the ones to reach out to our community, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah. kind of drop things and run over and support and be there and say, I know I'm going to lose sleep tonight, but you matter to me. And that's what makes community a verb. It is. That is what makes, that. that is what, that's how it becomes an, a verb. That's how it becomes an action, an act of love. And, you know, people showing up for each other, people noticing when, times are tough or someone needs something or I'm having surgery next week and the community of people that is showing up for me for the next month and a half who's bringing me food and my family food is absolutely incredible. Yes. And I just have been so grateful. Maybe that's why that post hit me so hard yesterday about when it said community is a verb because yeah. I've been so grateful for the people who have signed up and who have said, hey, I'll help you out during this tough time. And that's, that's what builds community. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so we want you to reflect on this and who have a conversation with your spouse, have a conversation with yourself to talk, to just be reflecting and thinking, who is it? Who are the three or four couples or families that we really want to gel with and imagine ourselves riding that long mm -hmm. race with? getting in community with, drafting off each other, celebrating the wins, supporting each other in, in the hard times. In the hard times. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Identify and, it and make an action step towards them. And include your kids too. Totally. Because that's important too. Your kids need to be heard. So Awesome. Yeah. We're here every Tuesday. <laughs> we are with goofy hats and fun that's stuff right. classes and all these fun things. Yes. It's a little cold out today. It's like 30 degrees here in Denver. So we got to wear our that's right. caps. In our flannels and, and our, our sweat and our sweatshirts. That's yes. right. So, so y'all take care of yourselves because we know you're running crazy. Fifteen days left till Christmas. Fifteen days. I think there's a sign behind me right there. Can you see yes. it all? Ding ding ding. Facebook, can you see it? You know what? The sign says it. Fifteen days. Till take Christmas. some time to have <laughs> some self care. Okay. Today, what are you gonna do to take care of yourself? And then be thinking in the new year, who is gonna be in my Peloton? Check out the blog post, familiesofcharacter.com forward slash blog. You can see the whole blog post. Share that post with others, with your family, your friends, on Instagram, on Facebook. And we'll see you back here next Tuesday. We will. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Have a good one.